clear skies are exactly what you want this time of year if you want to do some stargazing. And we haven't done one of these astronomy videos for a long time. Hopefully you've been staying safe and healthy. But there's a lot of things that have been happening in the astronomy world since we last talked. The big news is, of course, NASA made the announcement on Friday that we're going to be launching astronauts from Cape Canaveral, Florida, coming up at the end of May. Also, there's a comet that I told you about, and there's a lot of other things happening this month in space. So let's talk about it. On Friday, Jim Bridenstine, the director of NASA, announced that Colonel Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin will launch to the International Space Station on a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. The Falcon 9 rocket will be then used to launch. Ignition, lift off, Set for five, aim high, go Falcon, go Dragon. Back on January 19th, SpaceX tested the rocket and the Dragon escape system successfully. With the current social distancing rules in effect, traveling to Cape Canaveral to see this launch in person is not recommended. And while there are parks to see the launch all around the area, more than likely they will be closed off. So the best way to see this will be on NASA TV and other outlets. And as that launch date does get closer, I'll share a list of links so you can watch it from your phone or on your home TV. A few weeks ago, I talked about Comet Atlas. Discovered a few years ago, this comet was predicted to get closer to the Sun and Earth and potentially give us a nice show with a new object in the night sky. But about two weeks ago, astronomers speculated and later confirmed that the comet split apart. So sadly, this comet won't be a bright show as we hoped. Also, while the social distancing rules are in effect, the NASA Mars Curiosity Rovers team are still making sure this vehicle-sized robot is still working smoothly on the fourth planet from the sun. According to NASA's JPL facility, about 20 people are needed to develop and test a simple command for the rover. So instead of them all being in one room, they're spread out all over the region. And I read an interesting quote from the science operations team, Carrie Bridge. She says, it's classic textbook NASA. We're presented a problem and we figure out how to make things work. Mars isn't standing still for us, we're still exploring. Finally, the Lyrid meteor shower peaks on Wednesday the 22nd. You'll need to have a dark sky to see the meteors, and this year's peak is only expected to be between 10 and 15 meteors per hour. The rule of thumb that I always use is if you can see more stars than you can count, you're probably in a good spot. So happy viewing!